Hi everyone. Okay, let's solve this problem right here. We have y plus 2 equals 1 over y. Okay, how many solutions do you think this will produce? Okay, it will produce 2. But let's see, what do we do? We're going to multiply this by this, this by this. But then the two solutions it will produce, let's see if both of them are going to satisfy the equation. So the LCM, the LCM is y. So y times y is y squared. y times 2 is 2y. Then y times 1 over y is 1. So we will bring this to the left. We have y squared plus 2y minus 1 equals 0. And now what do I want to do? I'm going to bring in the formula which is y equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so that y is equal to b is 1 that is um b is 2 that is the coefficient of um, y so here we now put minus 2 plus or minus b squared will be 2 squared minus 4 times 1 because a is the coefficient of y squared and that is 1 then multiply by the c our c is minus 1 then you divide by 2 times 1 so that if we proceed y will be minus 2 plus or minus we have 4 minus what 4 2 squared is 4 4 times 1 times minus 1 is going to give us um, 4 then this oh by the way this is supposed to be positive right because negative negative is positive right okay we divide by 2 and now y is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 8 then everything is over 2 and we can break that 8 down right so that we get y is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 times um, 4 or 4 times 2 anyhow over 2 so y is minus 2 plus or minus we have square root of 4 is 2 then let's root 2 follow this is divided by 2 so y now is 2 can go there we have minus 1 plus or minus the same two will go here we have just root 2 right now i would like us to have this in decimal form by the way y is minus 1 plus root 2 or we have minus 1 minus root 2 so let's get this in decimal form and we substitute into the given equation very quickly okay, okay now minus 1 plus root 2 is going to give us 0 0.41 so y is 0 0.41 from here and this is because square root of 2 is approximately 1.414 and so on then this is going to give us minus 2.41 okay but then the question is which of them satisfies or will both of them satisfy let's um check it out okay if you can recall the equation again is y plus 2 equals 1 over y now let's use y to be 0 0.41 plus 2, right? 0 0.41 plus 2. 
and um, this is go going to give us this can be zero zero so if you're adding it will give you two point four four one okay that is on the left hand side then on the right hand side we're going to have one over what is y again zero point four one so 2.41 from the left is equal to let's use calculator to get that okay so 1 divided by 0 0.41 is approximately 2.44 and we can approximate both of them right imagine we want to do this to one decimal point it's going to be 2.4 and on the other hand we have 2.4 so they are the same so our x to be equal to 0 0.41 satisfies now let's get the second value of oh by the way this is y let's get the second value of y so y is 2 minus 2 rather 0.44 okay is it 44 or 41 Okay, let's make it 41. It's 41 from what we got before. So now, in place of um, y, put minus 2.41, then plus 2. Right? Let's add this first. The What we have here is going to give us negative 0.41. Okay, so what we have here is for the left hand side, right? Remember the right hand side is equal to 1 over y, right? So let's have this our negative 0 0.41. Then this place becomes 1 over negative 2.41 because that's the value of y we are using. If this is not equal to this, then we are wrong. So this is 0 0.41 then if you use calculator 1 divided by negative 2.41 it will give us negative 0 0.41 approximately right and this is to confirm that both x equals 0 0.41 um, and x again equal to minus 2.41 satisfy the given equation thank you for watching and always subscribe to my channel and share to your students and to the learners around you